If you want to hear how all five Conjuring movies to date are referenced in the trailer for Annabelle Comes Home, then make sure you watch this whole video. I called it, I called it. Back in September, I did a dead talk where I speculated possible future Conjuring spin-offs. This is what I had to say about Annabelle 3. So my guess is that Annabelle 3 will take place while the Warrens are away on another case. Perhaps this takes place at the same time as The Conjuring 3, and the film will focus on Judy, or the nanny who takes care of her, as horrors start to take place around the house. With Ed and Lorraine not there to help, Judy may have to take on this entity on her own. Cut to almost everything I just said being true in the trailer. Parents lock up the room, they say goodbye to Judy because they're going somewhere, mistakes happen, and she says she sees things. Wait, didn't I also make a video last year where I said they could do movies on the whole room of cursed objects in the Warren's home? But I think this room of trinkets is a clever way to tie the series together, and we may even see spin-offs of other objects from this room. I mean, I know I'd watch a movie about this monkey. Wouldn't you? Cut back to the Annabelle Comes Home trailer. The monkey moves. Okay, it's not its own movie like I originally said, but in a way, having a movie where all the haunted objects interact could be even better. We may get a little glimpse into the history of some of these objects, but we won't get beat down with a bunch of repetitive spin-offs that simply go from object to object. The only part of my prediction that may be off is where I said this could take place at the same time as The Conjuring 3, because I wasn't expecting them to recast Judy with a younger actress. It looks like this takes place between The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2, because in this shot, we see the music box from the first Conjuring, and in the wide shot, You'll notice that the item that Ed Warren places there at the end of The Conjuring 2 is not there yet. We also see what looks like a genie lamp, which reminds me of The Conjuring, where Ed Warren explains that destroying the objects would just unleash the spirit within them, and that sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. It's safer for these things to be in here than out there. It's kind of like keeping guns off the street. Well, why not just throw them in an incinerator? Destroy them. Well, that would only destroy the vessel. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. The rocking chair moving on its own is a reminder of Judy's first unpleasant experience with Annabelle back in The Conjuring. The wind vane that moves on its own could tie back into Annabelle creation, which took place on a farmhouse. But the big thing that I noticed here was this mannequin in the corner, wearing white robes. The costume is somewhat similar to Sister Irene's white garb in The Nun, but it also looks like there's a veil, so maybe it's more of a wedding dress type thing. That'll be something that we have to keep an eye on when the movie comes out. Father Gordon, from The Conjuring 2, is seen towards the beginning of this trailer blessing the room of cursed objects, something that Ed claims they do for protection back in the first movie. Doesn't it? Worry you to have all these items right in your home? Oh, that's why we have a priest that comes by once a month to bless the room. Then we've got the typewriter writing on its own, where it says, Miss me, over and over. Just like the three young people from the opening sequence of The Conjuring saw the same message appear on their ceiling. Noticing a pattern yet? A lot of callbacks to the first Conjuring. Let's add the Bathsheba ankle pulls in the middle of the night, which also happens to the young girls of the Perrin family to that list. This demonic looking girl in the trailer seems to be affected by this projection cast onto her, which I'm guessing is footage of one of the exorcisms that Ed and Lorraine Warren used to teach about what they do at the university. Finally, we have the mystery of this little girl. Can I play with Annabelle? I think you have the wrong house, there's no Annabelle here. The f you say to me, you little this is B, the little girl who died in Annabelle Creation, who the demon that later went on to possess the Annabelle doll was masquerading as in order to trick the family into providing her with a human vessel. It looks like the demon is still using the form of B in modern times, and she's even still wearing the dress that B died in. If you're not up to date on all of the things you missed in the previous movie in the Conjuring franchise, click the playlist on the left to get up to speed on that. Remember to subscribe to CZ's World for new horrors every week so you don't miss out on the upcoming Things You Missed episodes on Annabelle and Annabelle Creation. Ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one, assuming we both survive.